If you've ever blown into a video game cartridge to get it to work, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Folks, welcome back to another edition of Live Trading. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Can't wait to make some money. Also have a special guest for you today. Let's get it. Welcome to Benzinga Live Trading. Let's see if this actually kind of comes back. Way out of control. Got way too high. All right. Hey, I will take that. I will absolutely take that. All right, folks. Happy Hump Day. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and talk about the market. We've got some money to make. We've got some stuff moving around. I see the chats already flipping out about the ex-girlfriends who seem to be back today. We're going to cover it all. I got my main man, 13. 13, how you doing? Nice shirt. Oh, thanks. Yeah, nice shirt. It's, uh, I guess we shop at the same store. I guess so. You know, who? Where? What's the? where does the 65 EMA originate? I forgot. Oh, wait. Uh, no, I don't. It's Andy from Mighty Soldiers <laughs> Trades. Welcome, Andy. How are you doing, my man? Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, 13. And uh, yeah, nice shirts, guys. Thank you very much. We thought that it would be appropriate today. Uh, to put these on. So let's go ahead and make some sense of the market. Andy, love that you had some time to join us here today. It's been too long. Hopefully you're doing well. Absolutely, Ryan. Things are good. Great, actually. Things are good. Changing it to great. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, let's go ahead and break down the market. We are going to start with the SPY. Let's see. We were selling off yesterday, really felt like some things were rolling over. Today, we're a little bit higher in the pre-market after going lower first. So are we going to bounce today? Or are we going to get what felt like a bull trap, kind of like what we got yesterday? I know we successfully defended, what, 502 yesterday. Um, let's see if we retest that here today. I'm not going to put too much stock into what the candle's doing in the pre-market. Like I said, we just saw this happen yesterday. We were strong in the pre-market. Uh, we traded down right out of the open. We tried to bounce, really couldn't, and just kind of chopped around in a range. So I want to see if we're able to do any of that here today. 13, you got any levels in particular that you're looking at for the SPY here today? Nothing has really changed in terms of levels. I think we're going to be seeing some consolidation, uh, mostly between 505 and 503. We did see that yesterday. Every time that we had uh, breakouts above 505, they came right back in shortly after. Uh, every time that we the price broke down beneath uh, 503, that was even more quickly bought back up. Uh, the point about 503 is uh, there's a gap to fill on the way down if we uh, start closing beneath 503 and uh, 500's on the way there. So uh, I would be looking to consolidate uh, further. If we see some more upside, the highest upside that I would say we go would probably be about 508, 50, 50 day estimated ma uh, maximum. Uh, otherwise, I think uh, we can go as low as uh, 500 if we start breaking down uh, beneath 503. Okay, yeah, I'm with you there. And actually, I'd like to see some consolidation too, as opposed to just kind of like these regression back to the mean, like a day down and a day up. I actually want to see some more consolidation. I feel like that would give me a better opportunity. Andy, how about you? What are your What's your outlook here for the SPY and where the market's going? Well, uh, I'm sure you know what I'm about to say, Ryan. I'm looking at my daily and, and tell me if I'm wrong here, but uh, see the SPY is re uh, rested right at that 65 and then bounce and, and uh, to create that gap that we were talking about just now. So I agree with 13, 503 to 505, um, you know, just see what happens. And if we break below that 503, 53, uh, let me see. I think that's a 503. No, actually, that's 502.94. If we uh, break below that, then, you know, that's that's where I'm either looking for us to pop that lower shadow or we're breaking down, you know. Okay, um, I am going to go ahead and throw the 65 EMA on my chart so we can reference it here today. This is what you were saying. We're pretty much riding that. We're right on that here. So 65 EMA is going to be this red line here on Benzinga Pro when we check that out. Um, okay, so we'll see what happens. Are you guys looking to trade the SPY today? Are you guys going to stick to some of those smaller names? Kind of wait and see what happens around the opening print? You got a gut feeling? I'll likely trade futures, Ryan. And uh, if we cool. break below that 65 on the daily... I'm looking for my next target to be about 495.28. Um, this this happens uh, nearly every time we get into a bull phase. We will uh, on the weekly come back and and touch that 20 EMA, and we usually ride that 20, and it gives the best trading opportunity. So so the golden line for me is that 20 EMA on the weekly. Okay, so it's not the 65 EMA on the daily. That's one of them, but also the 20 EMA on the weekly, which I don't have uh, on this chart here. Um, okay, I'll tell a story together and and basically, you know, and that's that's how we that's how we get it. 
There we go. We get all chapters of the story in order to figure out what's going on. Um, okay, as mentioned, we also have some uh, little movers here today that are going on. We're definitely going to take a look at those. We also have some plays here from Trade the Pool, who is our stream sponsor. So if you need help getting over that 25,000 day trading threshold, they might be your answer. Or if you just need more buying power, they might be able to help you out there too. So uh, keep in mind, Trade the Pool, take a look see what they have to offer. And I, like I said, uh, we might be having some real cool new stuff coming up pretty soon. So stay tuned to that. Um, okay, before we flip over to the movers chart, um, I noticed Jonathan Cooper, you were bringing up IZM here today. Now this is not a stock that I was going to talk about. Um, I guess we should mention it given what's going on here today. If this is the daily chart, which really doesn't tell anything because it just looks completely bonkers. Um, However, if we take a look inside here, you can see that this morning the stock was about 50 bucks, spiked as high as 100, and now it's 12. So uh, with something like this, this to me just completely off, off my radar, not even going to trade this. This thing has had a huge move here, 1.35 million shares of volume versus an average of 488. Uh, this is a looks like a uh, electronic components uh, product company in China, an Internet of Things Chinese company. Um, huge move, obviously here to me, this is, this is big red flag, stay away. But Jonathan figured, uh, figured I'd mention this. If you guys trade this, please be careful. There might even be a case where your brokers don't even allow you to trade this one. Uh, so just keep an eye. This is going on. You might see some of this, uh, out there today for me, I'm going to completely stay away from this. We got better things to trade. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the smaller movers here. Like I said, we've got a whole bunch of stuff coming back. First one here is going to be INVO, and this has actually taken another leg up on super strong volume here in the pre-market. So looking like it's trying to flex its muscle and show some strength here before the opening print. INVO bioscience shares are trading higher after the company reported year-over-year -year increase in Q4 revenue results and said it remains on track to reach its goal of reaching break-even or profitability within its current operations in 2024. So seems like a pretty good PR there, maybe a little bit fluffy. The market is absolutely loving this here on INVO. Uh, we took out the pre-market high yesterday at about, or excuse me, the after-hours high yesterday at about one. We retested that level right out of the pre-market open today, and then we actually broke through it when the big volume expansion happened. So we're a little bit extended away from the VWAP here. We've now traded above two, definitely think we want to hold two here, um, or even maybe pull back to the VWAP. What I would rather do in terms of a trade here is I'd rather trade this off of a VWAP pull. Um, because those, some of those upside moves uh, tend to shake you out prior to making the big move. It's actually what we saw in PRSO. Grats to any of you that uh, were able to hold that for the afternoon move or trade that for the afternoon move. INVO, uh, I'm looking for maybe a little bit of profit taking here out of the gate. Now, 13, you got anything on INVO? I know you were looking at this one earlier. <clears throat> yeah, so they're moving up on earnings. Uh, they had you mentioned the the reason why it's uh, doing so well. Uh, one of the things I'm noticing right now with its current formation is that it looks like it's trying to set up to go higher. I would like to see uh, a retest of the VWAP that would uh, give me more confidence yeah. in trying to trade this. But uh, they do have a 2.6 million share float. They did do a reverse split last July, one for 20. One of the things that's interesting about this is that they are going to be merging with a uh, another company called Naya later on uh, this year. So that makes me think there could be an upside cap as to how high this might go if it's going to get close to uh, what that, uh, um, that merger proposal uh, uh, offer was, you know, ends up being. So I, I think there, there, there could be a, a ceiling uh, to this as a result of that merger, but we, we could end up going past that. So this one, just put that out there, that, yeah, that, that's emerging. Just something to keep in mind. Now, keep in mind, this is already up over 160% today. So I'm with you, 13. What you said in there, pull back to the VWAP would make this yeah. a lot easier to stomach. But INVO, definitely going to be on watch here today. One of the biggest gappers that's going to be created here when the market opens. Uh, next, we have WISA. And oh, my gosh. We talked about this yesterday a lot. Uh, Andy, side note, it was funny. Every time we mentioned WISA, Alyssa thought we were calling her. And she's like, yes, what can I do for you? But 
Uh, we were talking about this stock. Um, this actually had a huge move on gigantic volume yesterday. Uh, we yeah. talked about trading this a little bit earlier here. It actually broke that double top of right around 360. Went is high, it went above eight and really kind of came back in. Uh, we're getting we're gearing up here again. So we've actually gone as high as 1150 in the pre-market. We pulled back to VWAP. We're now making another run towards those highs. Um, I would say that this one, I would say be careful with this one too. Remember yeah. this stock, if we just kind of go back to the day before yesterday, stock was $1.73. We're up 10x uh, over that right now. So just, just be careful with this one. Um, it, we One of the things we have seen is that when this pulls back to the VWAP, that's when it likes to make its other move. It either consolidates, consolidates above, or just V bounce off the uh, VWAP. We'll see if this one gives us a trade here. I'm not confident in the upside breaks. One of the things that we saw yesterday is when these stocks would break some of their upside ranges, whether they were on volume or just simply breaking it, a lot of stocks got pulled right back in. And I think WIS is absolutely susceptible to that. With this being up another 81% today after the day yesterday, I think it's susceptible to a huge pullback. So if you are going to trade this, uh, as Anne Maria always says, think about what could go wrong first and then figure out the rest of the plan. Uh, you guys have anything here on WISA? You looking at this one? And Andy, I might have skipped over you for IMVO. So if you have anything on that, feel free to throw it in. Right. I'm just excited because it looks like WISA, we could get that 100% ripper this morning. And, you know, that's basically what I'm here for. So. Okay, well, we're already at 82% uh, of a rip. So we're almost <laughs> at that 100%. And it did it yesterday. It, it looks, I, it looks I'm not like that to trade it, it you know I'm, I'm i'm with you and Anne marie and and you know air on the side of caution but yeah. definitely uh get excited when we get 100 percent ripper yeah it, to me it looks like it really wants to try to take out that 1150 and then just run but after that i'm not sure what it's really going to do because we're uh, kind of at the uh the high end of of their historical uh, uh all-time highs and this is uh this is moving on relative volume because that high volume day we had yesterday yep. but uh, as uh, was being pointed out in the chat here the floor will disappear on this thing and it could uh, pull absolutely horrendously so uh be careful with this one this is that scumbag company that loves to do <laughs> the uh the offerings and reverse splits really close together um still was a great trade yesterday might provide trading opportunities tomorrow but as uh mentioned before be very very careful with this with this one it is run massively already all right. Uh, next here on the list is going to be ticker VNDA. This is Vanda Pharma. Vanda Pharmaceutical shares trading higher after the company announced that it submitted three proposals since February to acquire all of the outstanding shares of common stock of Vanda Pharmaceuticals and confirmed that its most recent proposal to acquire uh, Vanda remains open for Vanda and its board of directors to consider. So Vanda, this popped as high as six, came back into the VWAP, looks like it's curling up 13. What on earth is going on with Vanda? Uh, they have a uh, buyout offer in the range of 725 to 775. Uh, the fact that it's not up there yet makes me think there could be some, uh, uh, some uh, you know, uh, trading uh, to have you know that you could get uh, capture in, in, in here between that uh, um, where it's at now and, and the uh, potential buyout offer. It does have 45.6 million shares in the float, so it's not going to move around quite as handily as the, some of these other ones that we're talking about are. But uh, I think there, if if this uh, offer is real and uh, they are considering it, that there could be some upside uh, to this stock today. Yeah, absolutely. And remember that range there, seven twenty five to seven seventy five. Stock's currently at five fifty. So two dollars uh, from where it's at right now to that uh, proposed buyout range. I agree with you, thirteen. Until there's, a, you know, until something. Uh, for sure happens here, there's likely to be some volatility in this name. So ticker VNDA uh, in play here today. You got anything on this one, Andy? No, I'm just setting up over here, Ryan. And uh, well, VNDA, my, my thought here was uh, it seems kind of light on volume up at 35% right now. So, you know, if if we get a lot of volume, then I might start looking at it to see what we're doing at that point. But right now, um, I, I would just kind of ignore it until that happens. Okay. There you go. Uh, next here on the list, got a couple. I do want to run through them really quick so we can get to some of those bigger stocks here. Next one here is going to be Edible Gardens. This is ticker EDBL. This did spike on volume earlier, about as high as eight bucks. It's come back to the VWAP and is trying to use that VWAP as uh, resistance right now. It's trying to break through it. Um, Edible Gardens reports preliminary first quarter FY24 results with an increase in produce 
revenues of 40% year over year and cut herb revenues of more than 200% year over year. So some preliminary results here looking good. The market is rewarding it. Stocks trading up here by about 36% on ticker EDBL. Uh, one thing that I, I would absolutely be watching for this one here is what happens if we are able to reclaim that VWAP, if we're able to take that out and maybe move higher. I don't think eight is out of the question here. We've seen a lot of these put in their impulse move, kind of consolidate a little bit, shake out some of those weaker hands and then move higher. Um, we'll have to see what kind of volume this thing has when the market when the market is actually open. 13, you got anything on this one? This could move around really, really uh, quickly. It, it's It's got less than 300,000 shares in the float. So you're gonna see you're gonna see the uh, uh, the entire float traded multiple times today in this one, in my opinion. Uh, on average, stock trades forty seven thousand shares already at one point one three million here, and you're exactly right. Float under three hundred k, super low float here. Edible Garden ticker EDBL. This one also on the list here today. Um, got a couple of minutes till we open here. Uh, Children's Place. Um, I don't know that we need to spend a whole lot of time on this one. We see this occasionally. Go ahead, thirteen. Uh, EDBL also had a reverse uh, split um, on uh, April 5th. So they uh, they have a okay. recent reverse split. That's also helping drive this too. Yeah, and those reverse split names, you've been on top of that. Those have really uh, been volatile after that split. Uh, next we have here is CXAI. This is one I think, Andy, we've traded this one time last year when you joined us, if I recall correctly. I think the stock was in a 12 handle. Keep me honest on that one. Can't really remember. Anyway, CXAI here. Uh, this pushed up yesterday in the after hours. We're actually using that same level as some resistance here today, or right around 520. Uh, we're holding right at the VWAP. This thing does look pretty good in terms of its volume. Looks like it actually might want to move higher here. We did have earnings yesterday after hours. That's the bump that you're seeing here today. So more upside. We pull back, uh, take some profit here on CXAI. What say you folks? Honestly, I guess Ryan, I should uh, specify one of you instead of throwing it to both of you and having you be like, well, who, which one of us should go? <laughs> 13, you why you, don't you had me at, at okay. Children's Place, though, Ryan, so uh, I think I got stuck over there. Okay, sorry. I'm moving a little too quick here because we are running out of time before the market actually opens. 13, you got anything on CXAI? Uh, you know, this is also off of earnings, and uh, they they have uh, 7 million shares in the float. They have a bit of high short interest, although the days to cover isn't great. One of the things I noticed about this is that we already have the highest volume day uh, today, uh, that we, the highest volume day that we've had since uh, September. I couldn't get that out. So uh, September uh, 1st, this has been the highest volume day so far, and it might continue. Uh, don't really have too many levels right now. It's looks to me, it seems like it's trying to get above five. Uh, but after that, mm -hmm. I uh, have some other levels we could uh, talk about, like 610, 630. Those are those are some upside levels that we have after I after we can uh, break above five and hold it. Yeah, and I'm still looking at 520 as one of those uh, upsides, uh, yeah. upside targets. There. One of the first things I see here is a bunch of upper shadows too. So I mean, like this this thing looks like it uh, could get tricky real quick. So I'm, you know, just be careful if you're trading it. Yeah, this thing also kind of in a downtrend here on this 15-minute chart. We'll see. This actually could provide a level two, maybe, and this is up closer to six, maybe 580-ish around and, there. And, and to that point, uh, lately, because of uh, how the market's been moving down, we haven't been seeing as many breakouts where we thought there would yep. be breakouts. So to Andy's point, you know, we're, we're, we're probably, you know, it's probably worth paying attention to these uh, upper shadows, these large uh, wicks that we're getting in some of these candles. They may be telling you the story about where the price is headed Uh uh, in, in more of a way that, that we could have been able to read previously before we started getting this uh, market downside. But CXAI, one to watch here today. Um, all right. Uh, we do want to show you uh, trade the pools uh, stocks in play here today. Hey, look at that, CXAI. And it's actually right at one of the resistance levels that trade the pool has identified support down there at four. Look at this, Wissa. We talked about this one too. All three of the stocks here from Trade the Pool on our list already. Uh, Wissa, some resistance here at twelve, support at eight fifty, and INVO resistance at twelve and support at one. Or excuse me, resistance at two and support at one sixty. So, uh, looks like we're all kind of looking at the same things here. Um, I noticed that there were a couple of you other folks that were talking about some of these bigger stocks out here. Let's take a look at that here real quick before we open up here. Jay, I know that you were mentioning SMCI. This thing 
uh, I think you said a hundred point move in in one day. That is pretty much exactly what we got. The trough here eight eighty uh, in the pre market yesterday. In the pre market here today nine eighty nine. So SMCI clearly still as volatile uh, as it gets. Uh, I'd say, what are you looking at here in terms of like a long term? Like, do you think that we kind of make some new highs here? I kind of see the start here of a head and shoulders formation, to be quite honest with you. Um, but in any case, just looking to see, you think this uh, challenges any of those highs? Do we maybe kind of consolidate a little bit around this $1,000 mark? Uh, curious to know what you folks think on SMCI. Um, okay. See what other stocks that you folks are mentioning here. Let me actually uh, let me actually go to an intraday chart here. Take a look at that SMCI. Actually, looks like this wants to go higher here. Jay Wild, good morning. Great to see you again. You're mentioning ticker DJT and had a really rough day yesterday. Looks like it's trying to gear up here today. Uh, DJT. Maybe this is going to be in play today. We'll see. Uh, definitely having a nice pre-market here. I definitely want to wait for the market to open before I make any type of assessment on this particular name here. And I uh, just wanted to say good morning, born to be free. Love that. Good morning, degenerates. So I don't know, make me laugh a little bit. Okay. Good <laughs> morning, born. We love having him here as well. So um, awesome. Um, Jay, appreciate this insight. I trim some, Ryan. So you're paying yourself on the way up. That's what we love to see. The split will push it higher on earnings pre announced. So there you go. Appreciate that, Jay. Good luck and good job so far on your trade. We'll go ahead and start today off with a cash register ring. That makes sense sense to me Watch um, Lisa. is it going it, i think it's it's looking like it uh, might start going here i'll the, tell you the, what some of these gappers they don't even want they don't even want to wait for the market to open here we're about a mm -hmm. minute and a half till the open they're like no nah, we're gonna get all of our stuff done right away right yeah, away I, I just noticed that the the volume started picking up it started moving a, a little erratically so i thought i'd mention it could, okay. uh, could go for that uh, 1150 uh, break here if we start to uh, push up all right, we'll see if we get that here on Whistle. We got a lot of targets here today. There are stocks that you folks want to take a look at. Got about a minute left here. I might as well take a look at NVIDIA. This is always one of the uh, one of the popular ones. This, like SMCI, looks like this wants to go higher here. Uh, we take a look at the 15-minute chart. It's actually looking pretty good. It's made a higher low recently. We'll see if we can actually take out 907 here. I do think that's within range here today. does look like... Uh, on this 15 minute chart, we do have some consolidation area here between pretty much between right where we're at, maybe 891 to 905 or so. We'll see if we're able to chew through that here on NVIDIA. Um, also, I was kind of just kind of taking a look at tech names here right before we open. Um, if I go to a bit intraday chart here, it looked like Apple was just kind of floating higher here now, really kind of sinking back down to the low end of the pre market range. We'll see which of these stocks have some strength when the market opens. Uh, Tesla is not looking good, says Jonathan. We'll take a look at that here real quick. Uh, we're actually five seconds from opening here. Here is yep. your Tesla chart. This looks like this is going lower. Let me flip over to trade the pool and let's get this rolling. There we go. Oh, we got all types of sounds there on that. Here is, uh, by the way, here's the NVIDIA setup uh, that I have. Um, looking CXAI. to see if NVIDIA moves out of one of these ranges. CXAI? Great. Yeah, great mention, Sally. Uh, it broke through that five uh, uh, handle and it uh, started moving up before the bell. Now it uh, is kind of consolidating right now. And right at the open there, I just shorted the spy. Pretty good start. Okay, so Andy short spy here. CXAI pulling back here. 491, the VWAP. It's trying to hold on to five at the moment. INVO looks like it's trying to go here. It's trying, to get, trying, to, trying to get above uh, 210. Has a nice uh, bull flag uh, formation. Yeah, see and if we can the, resolve it. This area that it bounced off of this 194 area had some wicks down there. Coming back in, we'll see if we hold on to it. 194, your intraday low. There is some size there too at 194 on the offer. So we'll see if that is able to support it. Let's look at like this. Here we rejected. go, and through to the downside. We're going to the VWAP here for sure on INVO. That's got yep. that at 187. Uh, looks NVIDIA like looks like it's trying to go higher. Sorry, Andy, didn't mean to run you over there. NVIDIA looks like it's trying to snap out of this. And no worries at all. Uh, 2.3 million traded up 6.6.5% 6 here on AMC as well. AMC's hitting the scanners. And you guys, if you don't mind, I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, not at all. Okay. All set. CXAI breaking up. Let's take me down. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> producer slot producer's probably getting another it's, cup of coffee there i'll take care of it amc sir, by the way bounced amc sorry up. sorry 13 uh, uh amc bouncing off the vweb here it's i, I think uh she responds to wissa now but uh, um, what is wissa doing by the way pulling back to the vweb CX, trying to hold in cx uh, i'm not looking at wissa i was a. Uh, I was just did a quick trade in CXAI, uh, waiting to see what what it's going to do next. Tr currently trying to force its way through 540. There's a sizable wall there uh, of sell orders. So let's uh, just oh, looks like it just uh, took it out. Next one is uh, at 550. It just uh, the the upside is starting to slow down a little bit. So I'm just uh, looking at something else. Oh wow, NB or VNDA. Yeah. I'm just flipping through some of these stocks here. INVO went to its VWAP. VNDA, the 65 email on the five minute is at 493. I think so you might get that, a bounce there. Do we take that trade for Andy for the boys? I'm I think I'll do it. 490. What, what did you have? I have it at 493. So, I'm gonna, okay, so we're actually pretty close there. Looking at gonna, the uh looking at the order book, there's some size on the offer right around five and then right beneath five. Mm-hmm. So Seeing uh, UNH calls getting bought, by the way. We talked about UNH yesterday. Anne Marie, uh, I believe, started a trade with this yesterday. UNH trading up here today. There's there goes INBO. It's it's looking a little bit better now. It's gonna uh it's just has to get up to 236 and push up through uh 240. 240 is the next upside level that I have up to 210. Here we go on INVO. We're going to go for that 237 area. It looks like 228. You're high, a little bit of size above. Should get taken down. Uh, there it goes. Go INVO. Woo, look at that move through uh, 240. Actually, it's going to halt here, 249 if it holds. It's uh, It's looking like it might, yeah. God, that was a really clean pattern. Right yeah, it there sure too. was. Well, at least they didn't pull it back here, right? At least they didn't pull it back here. Uh, no, they, they probably have a sell, have sell orders. Yeah, we can hear you. See, that's the problem. I got to fix I, this. My, my, my mute button's not working. I can't believe you guys aren't getting an echo. Oh, we are. I, I don't when hear we, an echo. When we talk, when you don't mute it. Uh, we hear it. EDBL, by the way, this popped and then dropped into a downside halt. So we've got INVO and EDBL halted presently. And IZM. And IZ. But this thing, guys, I mean, this thing, look. <laughs> like, I, I understand the temptation to want to trade something for a bounce, but like, not this. Like, <laughs> there was no reason for this, for this to bounce. You want to trade something volatile, maybe put your eyes back on rent. You know that thing might uh that thing was volatile for the past couple of days it might uh provide some upside trades for you maybe i don't know but that thing is Smith, volatile. already done for the day dang that was a short day punch that clock real quick that's awesome you're on a good schedule here hubc we talked about this one the past couple of days this popping a little bit here but coming right back in oh ryan look at vnda what? we're so close so close to that 65 vma my order didn't get filled. 490. What was it again? Uh, it was. Uh, I had mine at 495. The the it's at four. Well, now it's at 494 because we had it, it retraced a bit. But the EMA, the 65 EMA is uh, at uh, 494, 493, and I put my uh, order at 495. Still didn't get filled because we didn't go beneath five. 499 was the low print that I have on my broker here. Yeah, 499. So Let's see if we move back in here. I'm going to keep an eye on this. Keep me keep me honest on VND. I, I guess I could put an order out there. I, I took my order off because that the, I, the move that I wanted is already over. So I'm not going to uh, try that again. I, something else might happen. It might go through it. Robert, good morning. It's great to see you again. MNDR, looking like this is gearing up here again, going for 18. MNDR. SMCI stopped at that 1,000 mark. I don't think this oh. is done here for today. This might go through it. I'm so glad I bought more Zim yesterday. It's uh, it's it, it just it rocketed up uh, to ten forty. Take a little bit off the table. I had someone message me saying, "I hope you hold sold Zim yesterday." I was like, nope, <laughs> nope. Who said that? UAL looks like this is going higher here. So this actually held its move last night, taking another leg up right. here today. 
I don't. I, I I get what that person that you're talking to might have uh, been concerned about, and it's not not a bad idea. Uh, my holding of Zim isn't you know substantial, but I am still trading around it, and I still have a core position. And it's because it's just been the trade that's been working. Have a core position, trade around it. It's sure. it's doing just fine. Yeah, that makes that makes total sense to me. Goev here popping out of the open. Someone wanted to take a look at this earlier. Sorry that we didn't get to it here. Goev, this strong out of the gate here on volume. Three to three thirty already. CXAI, it's GL it's, continuing it's to move crazy. above sixty here on GL. So that took a while to shake out. Are you guys still getting the echo? And you can hear me no. right now. No, no, you're good. You sound good. I'm trying to fix this. You know, I was trying to be a, a slick earlier, cover my mouth, and hey, listen, take me down, but it didn't work. So no, it didn't work. Look at sound. S the Soundhound. S O U N. It's got a huge candle there from a. About 403 to 414. Currently at 414. Mm -hmm. This one had a nice breakout over four yesterday. There is NVIDIA. Kind of want to try some of this, to be honest with you. Getting a mention on Micron. Let's see if I try some NVIDIA here. Let's see if we push higher towards those highs. Sort of Come feels on, like NVIDIA. A Sort of feels like a day where everything was going down yesterday or you know earlier in the week. Semis were selling off. Now they're getting bought back up. I'm going to see if NVIDIA can go for 900 here. Maybe snap it. 887, you're high so far? Google and NVIDIA, the big winners of the MAG7 so far today. AMC is back up at the highs. Apple at the highs. NASDAQ at the highs. Looks like SPY's trying to bounce here. So things are looking good. So video trade starting to go against me here. We'll see what happens if it breaks through the VWAP. It's going to be that one news catalyst that takes everything down. Probably. NVIDIA, Jay's Life, you said NVIDIA 906. You see that as the next upside target? You see resistance up there? Is that what you're looking at? Let me know. NVIDIA moving lower here now. Abbott Labs falling out of bed. Oh, wow, it is. What happened? It was uh, the earnings call. Okay. What happened here? Oh, NVIDIA coming against me now. Let's see if it breaks this low. We go to the bottom end of the range here. Oh, my goodness. Rough rejection here on NVIDIA. Let me actually take a look and see what some of the other... Uh, names are doing apple did pull in off of its highs smci interestingly dipped and then ripped uh through that level so smci through that thousand dollar level awesome stuff jay it looks like you got the right one here today Let's see if nvidia can start bouncing here um, assuming we're good now yeah you sound great yeah nope sorry uh, i was i was just checking <laughs> if my mute works and it doesn't mute so mute uh i don't know what happened today guys so really sorry about this no you're fine wouldn't worry about it that's a that's a wise eye to have there, Lynn. Keep it open. Uh, the uh, thing about Abbott is uh, this could be profit taking because I don't see anything really bad here in their uh, earnings report. Maybe it's the guidance, uh, you know, is is not within the uh, the realm of the expectation uh, for what it's supposed to be because they barely raised it. Um, so it could be it could be that, uh, but I don't really see anything bad here. So I think. This is just maybe profit taking. There could be some uh, longer term opportunities here. ABT, ticker yeah. ABT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one I, I like for the. Uh, um, oh. There's there's a lot of reasons to like this one, but uh, Abbott also has a lot of uh, nutritional uh, supplements and and drinks. That's mm -hmm. gonna I think is gonna be a big deal when it comes to these uh, ozempic and semiglutide uh, uh, effects uh, that that cause wasting. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we've talked about that. We've yeah. talked about supplements likely taking another kind of a step up, supplements and vitamins here. I'm um, starting to worry a little bit about this NVIDIA trade. I think we probably come back in here really not showing any type of upside strength. Really was hoping this was going to bounce or just rip through that. And we're just pulling back here. Trying uh, to hang on to this because I think we bounce. But man, oh man, might end up taking a big L here to start the day. Uh, Jay, Jay Rice saying Abbott look a lot like uh, J and J yesterday. It's a man report. I, I guess that's kind of what I'm getting from it too. It's a good report, but it's just kind of under expectations is what I'm seeing. 
and wasting wasting uh, Brett Green. That's uh, when you take Ozempic, uh, you you it doesn't attack just you know the fat. It also attacks muscle. So when you're wasting, you're you're it's like with your body's withering away. It's the muscles withering away as a side effect of uh, semiglutides. So uh, that's that's what wasting is. Uh, EDBL, by the way, this was halted to the downside. When it resumed, it popped and is now halted to the upside here, EDBL. Born to be free. We're ready for you when you are. What did I miss? He's uh, he's he's wants to get back into happy hour. Hey, schedule change soon. It's, so it's, we're, ready, it's we're ready for you, dude. And I understand schedule changes, but it's open anytime. Oh, it's open the- any. Did, did we, we we mentioned that INVO is back open, right? I did not. INVO, oh, okay. we'll take a look at that. VMDA, a uh, number of people mentioning this here in the chat. This dip out of the open getting bought. We're now moving above the VWAP here, looking decent on uh, VNDA. Well, that's tough for me. I'm also trading NVIDIA here. Let's see if NVIDIA can finally bounce here. I think it's slowing down to the downside. INVO open moving higher here, or, or at least it tried to. We got an inside candle post halt here. Yeah, Brett saying five. watch Wissa. Wissa looks like this is going to try and go lower. I'd be careful with this one personally. There could be a, a, a dead cat bounce uh, on the way down at uh, the 65 EMA and the 200 uh, EMA. The 65 EMA I currently have at uh, 813. I'm sorry. No, that's right. 813. The NDA coming back into the VWAP, the VWAP here. here. UAL is looking pretty good. 7.8 million yeah. traded up 10%. Did they have, what was that? Yeah. Was that earnings? Yeah. Yes. Reported better than expected Q1 ta- uh, results taking the next leg up here. VNDA holding right at the VWAP here. Yeah. VNDA. Rustin, good to have you with us. Sorry to hear about your uh, your positions. Welcome back, Rustam. See if NVIDIA trying to bounce here. Okay, let's see if we can get this bounce here. It was a rough first move off that rejection. I'd really like to see this go higher, frankly. Uh, Lynn reporting that there's no shares to borrow at Interactive Brokers for WISA. So if a short is what you're looking for, it might be difficult. Thanks, Lynn. PLCE, yeah, so far this is holding here. This is looking all right. We'll see if we can actually break and go higher here. Should be able to make it back above 10. Crow mentioning CISS. Okay. And nice talk to 25. Yep. A lot of orders crossing the tape there. Did this get halted and it just opened? Is that what happened here? I'm just curious about the gap. Yes, yes. CIS CISS has had one halt here today, okay. 943. That is really weird how INVO has absolutely done nothing since we last looked at it. I would have thought it would have done it's more just holding just, that inside range there. Yeah. I guess I need to say something because now it's starting to move down. All you needed to do is talk <laughs> about it. It started breaking that range. By the way, look at CXAI, big breakdown here on CXAI. Oh, yeah, the struggle bus for sure. Right down to the 200 EMA. Um, Evil DJ mentioning Pan W trying to pick a direction here. Like Pan W, this looks in, looking strong at least so far here today, but be careful with that. Can you mention from X Sniper? I'm sorry, no, uh, Danielle, uh, PLL. This one was a uh, runner. I think it was either last week or earlier this week. Piedmont, yeah, that was the lithium name. Yeah, this one uh, got a, a, a buy... Uh, maintained to buy by da davidson and raise the price target to 60. uh x sniper saying ciss is a zach call oh no <laughs> oh my okay well i appreciate that can't confirm it uh didn't see anything here this morning but if that's the case that's some information to know here wait so, okay so hold on hold on a second if this is a zach call and we just had a halt how long was that halt I mean, was it longer than the normal halts? That's a, that's, I mean, I'm just kind of like, no, seeing it was a 10, pattern. it looks like it was a normal 10 minute halt or five okay. minute halt, even. Yeah, five minute halt. You know what I'm kind of getting at, right? With those, uh, yeah, unusually long halts in these Zach Morris stocks. Yeah, Zach yeah. Tweeted, tweeted about it seven minutes ago. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So All there right. could be a, a play in here then. 
this NVIDIA trade making a big mess here. We'll see if it holds on to this 876. Last one I saw, I believe, is that he said he liked KAVO. KAVO is uh, you know, down today. So. That was, yep. the, that was his first victim. Him. Stopped out of NVIDIA there, unfortunately. That didn't work. Jay Rice here mentioning short the Zach calls. KAVL is kind of what you guys were talking about. I just stay away from them. That's my strategy. I, I don't need to be involved in that. EDBL. Uh, Man. We're above VWAP now, and it looks like we could uh, go higher. Uh, the pre-market high is 795. Here we go. Here it is. That's starting to get go here. And remember, this is already halted twice, halted to the downside and to the upside. NVIDIA continuing to pull here. Mm. I've stopped out of that, so it's not no more pain anyway. Mm. Thank you, EDBL. That was that was lovely. It was was it edible? Yes, it was. I'm num 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 num. Um nom nom. Let's go. <laughs> Looks like place is starting to get some volume here, pushing back towards the highs as well. Yeah, okay. Here we go. EDBL entering their next halt. Or yeah, Man, I can't even keep up. Now. I can't even keep up. You guys are all over the place. EDBL. And so, it is halted. It is halted. This is your third halt. This first one to the downside, next two to the upside here, EDBL. Oh, CXAI with a beautiful bounce off the 200 EMA on the five minute chart. Not gonna, I don't think it, it's gonna, I don't know that it retakes VWAP or $5, but that was just a really nice technical bounce off that EMA. CENX back up to its pre market highs here, a little bit of size there at 1838. I think INVO is just getting ready for the next move up. Uh, it's got to hold uh, 240. X Sniper saying, EDBL whipped me out, man. They, join the club, dude. Those smaller names do that. Even NVIDIA did that here for me today. Straight up rejection and sell off in NVIDIA. Yes, we did look at MNDR here today. It looked like that was trying for 18. We did get above 18 here today. So MNDR real strong since the IPO here. Real strong. Speaking of strong, the SPY is still holding above 505. That's, uh, that's I mean, I say that now and it starts to, to bleed a bit. But as long as it's holding above 505, it, uh, you know. It's consolidating up here. Yeah, it's still consolidating. It's still sideways, though, for sure. Uh, Kevin is mentioning BRT moving. Let me see here. With that was one of those data center plays, right? I, yep. Is it sure okay. was that chart looking great? Yep. What's the news here? Woman sex hire, Apple hire. They got a buy rating from Bank of America Securities yesterday. I don't know that Big that's Russian Nvidia. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, man. NVIDIA showing some weakness here early. We'll see if that lasts. SMCI, same deal here. Big pull. Okay, so put your caution caps on. Market's uh, getting some pull activity. Ooh. I guess, uh, you know, there's some, some awareness now with these Zach Morris trades. CISS not, you know, faring the same way right now, anyway, as some of the other ones that were pumped before this week tesla here still weak as well uh unable to get above that vwap on tesla the nda looks like that was a head fake on that first move through the vwap but keep this one on your radar that might not be the case later we might have an opportunity to hit this again or, or hit this when it when we actually get the move uh, <laughs> uh was that gary mentioning that arm also looks like smci and nvidia indeed all yeah, those UAL is where there. it's at, man. 10.2 million traded up now, 11.8%. Hey, Brett, love to hear it, man. I hope you're yeah. getting some value out of this, dude. Yeah, and and you know we're always open to feedback too. Yeah. Um, uh, I we've kind of we've kind of shaped the pre market based on what we think people are kind of looking for, right? Like a rundown of what's going on to kind of prepare for the day, and then boom, right into it. If you have other suggestions, would love to hear that. So Wissa coming down, not Alyssa, but W-I-S-A is coming down to 65 EMA on the five minute. 
I don't know that I want to try a, a bounce here, though. It could be one of those situations that where it just falls right through it. All the semis coming in. SMH coming in as well. Took some more profit short, the spy. Nice move there, Andy. Uh, market definitely coming in now. All the averages look like yeah. they're coming in. Dow is still kind of holding, but does look like it's weakening and yeah. rolling over a little there. All we of them are, coming back in. Yeah. And remember, so so remember what I was saying earlier. You know, we kind of saw this yesterday, right? And we want to see if this strong pre-market is going to hold here. Now we're not. And it's not over yet, but let's the, keep it the afternoon. Right the afternoon was so much better for trading for me. Yeah, yesterday it was yep. so much better. And, and you know what? That's common, right? That, mm -hmm. Or at least it seems like it. Let, let all of this kind of uncertainty and stuff shake out in the morning and then get right back to it uh, when things, may, I guess, make a little bit more sense. I, I laugh when I say that, but it is what it is. Nicholas, uh, not advice, but usually what, I, what I've noticed when we uh, have uh, three halts, usually after the third one, there tends to be a lot more selling pressure, yeah. just in my experience. So uh, I personally would not hold EDBL after it comes out of this halt. Uh, it's because, okay, here we go. We just unhalted. So just be very, very careful with it. So SMCI your, your green to red, by the way. Here is EDBL. Yeah, it popped up. Hey, going higher. Now, at the same time, I personally would not hold this. Look at how volatile it is. That, that, the, the way it's moving up, could, it could move down just as quick. So this is going to be another upside halt here. 858. If this holds, looks like it's going to. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're making money on this move, great. Keep and if you're, what you're doing and if you're paying yourself by kicking out chunks of it uh, on the way up, better still. Mm -hmm. Just be very, very careful. Look at how quick we get in and out of these halts. Look at how the moves you don't want to see. A, uh, you don't want to be in a red one like this. So just be careful, my man. INBO really, really. IZM bad. 550. This thing is minus 90%. Did this ever? No idea. Just saw it today. I don't think I've ever looked at that ticker before. Someone here in the chat mentioned it. I look, took one look at what it did and I was like, nah. <laughs> no, I was just wondering if it ever came out of this halt. Looks, doesn't look like it. IZM so trading resumed and then halted. It's halted a second time here. It's not okay. come out of it yet. Oh, we're getting mentions about uh, uh, PLCE. Yeah, PLCE just broke the pre-market high. Got it on nice. screen here. PLCE higher. I don't have levels for this, unfortunately. I'll start putting them in. GL here. I know we talked about this one on a potential bounce. This now above that 62 handle. Looks like it cleared out that consolidation at 60. NVIDIA taking another leg lower here. Your first stop is your best stop. So what was the deal with Children's Place anyway? Why did, why did it get hammered so uh, much recently? Anybody know? Let me take a look and see if I can find that in the news for you while you're getting those levels out there. 13. Right, thank you. Kid picked it to children's place, beneficial ownership. Let's see, when was that? That was, and it just kind of started leaking from February. Yeah, there was like, a, it was interesting because uh, yeah, in February you had and this then, spike uh, and then it just leaked right after that. So this, I guess I'm really interested to know what's happening here with this price action. It, it went down to like uh, underneath nine shot up to over 38 and then it just slow bled back down to where we are what is what is this company <laughs> what are they doing <laughs> children's place is a pure play children's specialty apparel retailer in north america so that's what it does here um you know i was looking at uh, some of the news here don't really see a whole lot in here february 29th they secured 78.6 a million in new financing. Okay, that could probably do it. The Children's Place enters into a long ter long term loan agreement of one hundred and thirty million dollars. That was from February sixteenth. Okay, this thing is massively shorted. Thirty 
and a half percent of its float shorted 5.36 days to cover here plce so there you go yeah so we could invo by the way while we were talking about that pull back to the vweb sorry to interrupt you there don't worry um yeah so next upside level for this one i would uh, uh, peg it at 1260. ciss getting rejected at the vweb after a huge pullback Where are you at now, Zach Morris? Where are you at now? Said he hasn't been trading penny stocks a lot lately. He's been trading the SPY, so he's trying to get back into penny stocks. That was the tweet I read. Okay. SPV in the natural progression, you know? Uh, SPEC, this was a penny stock that moved into dollar territory. BNDA has done absolutely nothing. Just pinned uh, at the VWAP here. PALI is, uh, is is moving a bit here. It's it's slowly moving, but it's uh, it's going through some levels that I have. The next one I have is uh, 680. Uh, just kind of uh, st slowly moving to the upside. It's here's the thing. The thing about this one is that uh, all through the uh, um, the after hours and pre market since the close yesterday, it's uh, been getting uh, pushed down by the uh, 635 uh, handle uh, level, and we just broke out of that. So if we can hold this and, con uh, and, and continue moving up, uh, we could probably uh, get back over seven. It's just the volume is very low, so not sure we're going to get those breakouts that we usually see. But this thought would be uh, worth mentioning. Pali. Wissa here kind of slowing down, kind of curling here off maybe 850 on Wissa. CXAI. Yep. Approaching that VWAP. After a nice uh, 200 EMA bounce in the five minute, that was that was clean. LCE flagging up here again. 1140 your intraday high there. EDBL uh, open and uh, it printed a new high. This is, the, this is the one that has a very, very low float. So... Just as easily as it moves up, it could also move down very, very fast as well. No, it's just going higher, is all higher. over the scanners here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's wild. CXAI right at this 495 spot. 495 and 5 look like clear levels here. I don't know where EDBL ends, but when it does, it's not going to be pretty. I'll tell you that much. EDBL just really pushing the new highs it's, here. It's wild. A AMC moved move through its VWAP here. This is actually trying to go higher as well. AMC. Is this like the first good day for AMC in uh, I don't know how long? Yeah, I, I don't follow it, so you'd know better than I. UAL doing yeah. a good job holding its gains here, too, after the second leg up. I don't know if I'm right, Ryan, but it could have been up to a year that I've traded this thing since I've traded AMC. I don't, I can't even remember the last time I traded it. Um, is, it is it any coincidence that Zach Morris and AMC are both coming back at the same time? Maybe. Maybe a tinfoil hat type thing. I don't know. NVIDIA may be finally bouncing here. We'll see. Tesla taking the next leg lower here. And Tesla is really struggling here under that VWAP. So I don't know if you guys have looked at the SPY and looked at the four hour here, but we got this nice little bear flag consolidation. So for me, um, when I get out of here, guys, I'm going to set some alerts and I'll probably be, you know, off doing whatever I'm doing when I get those alerts. And that's when I'll make a decision. Kayaking? Uh, no, today we're going gonna go to one of the theme parks. Oh, OK, I thought maybe you were going to wrestle alligators or something. Uh, just Disney or Universal today. There you go. So for uh, for your bear flag, how high would you want to see the uh, the the end of the flag go? Like a uh, five oh eight or or do you have another level? See, I'm looking for that next rejection potentially if we don't continue what we're doing right here, which we really could um, up here at the five oh six sixty eight ish. Okay. But I mean, it's it's. It's just sort of we're we're stuck in no man's land right now. Um, no decisions been made, so you know I'm not looking to give back any of the profit I've made today. So here's the visual aid. Here's the flag that you're talking about. Yep. You had mentioned the four hour chart, correct? Yes. Here you go. This also looks like a uh, support resistance level as well. 
Allie spiking here? Yeah, so for me, yeah, it's just, yeah. just simple. When I see something like this, I put an alert below at the at the support level of the flag uh, and at the, the highs of it, and you know, or I might give a little bit just to make sure that I'm not getting false alerts to, to account for those uh, upper and lower shadows, and you know, makes it easy. So you're basically just waiting for it to break out of this range, and then you're going to trade that direction. I trade before the decision is made, but I, I make a lot more and lose a lot less when I wait for the decision to be made. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, also uh, getting a mention of EDBL being halted again, just under 10 now. Here was that pally spike came in a little bit. Here's EDBL. 994. Man, oh man. Children's Place looks like it's uh, kind of uh, just setting up to go higher here. Uh, Got to hold VWAP. With, I mean, I got that at 1028 here. A pullback to the VWAP and a hold would actually clear the way for this to go higher here at 13. I'm with you on that. So my, my problem with the SPY right now, or, or futures, MESM, uh, we, we're holding that VWAP still. We just have a lower shadow below it, and we're kind of riding the 265 sort of relationship. So it's it's just, uh, just sort of stuck right now. If we break below this uh, 200 here at, well, actually... Sorry guys, uh, I'm I'm looking at uh at the the futures, so I'd have to pull up the spy for to give you better numbers. Wissa might be trying to reclaim its VWAP here. PLCE did look like it pulled right back to that VWAP. I got it at 10:31 in my broker, and I've got it or and trade the pool. I've got it at 10:27 in Thinkorswim. I actually have a wick that took us down here, so watch PLCE for a potential bounce right here. I have concerns about Wissa. <clears throat> Charlie squawking BSGM. Oh, that one. This did pop here. We've been playing with that one uh, this month for. Hey, hey Ryan, I got an idea. Have you guys considered uh, putting like a, a free day for Charlie here on the stream? Uh, we have not. We have not. Might be a way um, to get people to see how awesome he is, and you know, get. Yeah, I mean, the the my pushback on that, Andy, just go try pro. It's free. It's two weeks. You get Charlie. Sure. Yeah. You know, you can do it yourself. You can you can arrange it your own way. I would rather Charlie's great. It's literally one of my favorite features of pro. But try it. Try pro yourself. I would encourage you to to start the trial. It's free, no credit card. So, so many good trades from listening to Charlie. He's on top of it. He's, the, he's fast. That's what I like. Yeah. Yeah, his news sources are insane. Yeah, yeah, they sure are. VNDA still struggling with that VWAP here. There's a lot of uh, these that we were trading this morning that aren't looking appetizing at the moment. You are oh, correct, Jane. CISS just had an ugly knife. That's red now. Green to red move on CISS. Yes, Jane. It was so. Is it still is the scumbag ticker? Not for the uh, the reasons that it's moving, oh, but because cooling now. Because because it's doing their this uh, um, uh, offerings and reverse splits uh, very close to each other. It's to me, it's a scumbag company move. It, it hurts a lot of traders that way. Uh, spy here looks like it's trying to pull. It's not broken out of your bear flag yet, Andy, but it looks like that might be coming here. I'm glad you agree, Jane. <laughs> Let's trade the scumbag. <laughs> GL above 63 now. Children's Place, ticker PLCE, right at VWAP. See if it bounces here, if it just loses it. Oh, wow. BSGM pushing through levels. Uh, it's about to hit uh, 220. Oh, well, just shy of 225, which was the next one I had. If it goes through there, the next one above that is 280. Nikki, Charlie is the name of the human being that is actually doing the squawks in Benzinga Pro. I know, like we just, we throw his name around like he's a celebrity, and we should expect everyone everyone to know it. Maybe Shai should explain that. E EDBL just keeps uh, popping out of halts and then getting halted again. Now at 1111. Yeah, it's wild yeah, and like you yeah. said ryan uh checking it out with the trial man that that's uh 
I, I think that anybody that tries it would be hooked. That's what happened to me. That's what happened to me. And it was that it was the squawk that did it. BDTX here, nice chart, nice move here from 540. Keep an eye on children's place. They it might be finding uh, uh support. Looks like some of these we were just talking about that were down are, are trying to, uh, you know, hold and get back up. CXAI, VNDA, INBO. See if they can hold. Children's Place. I'm looking for a potential retest of 504.96 here for a rejection on the SPY. Go to a smaller time frame here. Here we go on children's place. So it looks like we're bouncing off this VWAP. Pally is popping. Take a look here at Pally. Children's place looking good. Yep, sure is. What was your Got entry it. on that? VWAP. VWAP right there. 1040's actually got a spot here. Yep. Let's go. Probably needs a little bit uh, more time, but it's it's looking pretty good. God, what is going on? CXAI, looking like this is going to try to move yep. above this. Actually, let's see if we can set up a trade here on CXAI. Take a little bit off of PLCE. Pay yourself. Just Love it. Paying myself on the way up, yeah. That was that was a great call there. I should have taken that with you. Thank you. I mean, a lot of these look like they're just all uh, kind of trying to turn around. Yeah, and see now, CXAI to me looks like it wants to go through this VWAP here, four ninety six, mm -hmm. but um, not Volume. confirming that yet. Yeah, volume's not great with that one. BNDA, no. same thing. INBO no. is actually getting the volume it needs to get through 240. Uh, 240 was the level it needed to hold in order to uh, for more upside. It fell through that and found support uh, at a lower uh, level, and now it's coming back up. So INBO might be coming back. That took the VWAP there. This is what we're, I'm hoping is, or this is what I was looking to see if that happened here on CXAI. It doesn't look like it, at least not yet. Ooh, so far, gosh, that rejection gosh. is holding in the spy. At Pally, up, you know, wow, all the way up to seven eighty six, and then knifed. Got to be careful with these guys. Two VWAP, knife two VWAP. Yep, INBO right to it. INBO is pushing. So how many futures and spy traders do we have here in the audience? That's a good question. I don't know. Let Andy know if you're trading spy or futures. What's going on, Wisdom? Good morning. I nice like of having, you to join us. I do like having the spy up uh, frequently because a lot of what happens in the spy, I see it translate into some of these other stocks we're trading. So if the spy is starting to push up, I see some of these other uh, stocks starting to uh, get better, uh, higher bids. You know, Wisdom so. trades uh, futures. Travis trades spy options. PLC looks like that bounce kind of slowed down there. Yeah. You're DTE every day. Love it. Oil, gold, corn, soy. INVO is going here. CXAI not able to get through it. Not yet. I don't know about you guys, but what gets me excited is when the spy is dumping and you get that outlier penny stock that just starts ripping because usually that is the mega rip. <laughs> when everything else is down, everybody else just piles into that one, right? PLC. And there's, there's usually a sympathy play on that one too, you know? Gotcha. PLCE no. here rolling over back to that VWAP here. Yeah, got a little bit, but done with PLCE. Yeah, INVO looks like this is trying to go higher here. EDBL uh, open and it popped to, gosh, this thing. 
This is this is just one of those things that you don't normally see with uh, these halts. I mean, we've seen it before. We, we uh, I don't remember this what is... that stock was. Remember, remember that one stock? It would just uh, halt and then pop higher. Halt, pop higher. At some HKD? point, HKD. No, EDBL. Oh, you're talking about the one you, that? Uh, yeah, I don't think it was that one. Just asking me about another stock. I don't think it was that one though. It was a it was a four letter ticker. Um, this was uh, I think Mitch was still uh, on here when we were when we were trading that one. But anyway, EDBL, hey, crazy. Joachim said he missed Andy's question. He was asking the chat how many of you guys trade futures, right? Yeah, trade spy yeah, futures. Yeah. yeah, what futures or spy traders are out there? Okay, now EDBL. That is a beautiful uh, rejection, uh, by the way, guys. So far, this is working out nice. Yeah, <laughs> that EDBL, man. This Roots the, going lower. Spy going lower. Right yep. And that upper that shadow. That was a great short out of the opening, Andy. Let me tell you something, man. That was that was that was good. I like to grab just little pieces at a time, Ryan, because you know you never know when these things can go wrong. Like yesterday, I yeah. heard so many people say that I was up big and then I was down. You know, and it's like if we grab little pieces and we let that add up and we control our risk really well, you might not have such bad days when that happens. Yeah, Jonathan, that uh, that short float is is nothing. It's it's really moving on the fact that it has a very very float, a small float to begin with, less than three hundred thousand shares. Uh, BSGM, by the way, popped uh, up to two thirty two. Oh, the penny correlation. I, I was just talking about on the days when the spy is really dumping, and you get those outlier pennies that just start ripping, and then on those days you usually get that that uh, that sympathy play as well, and it's just usually you know monsters. But that's when. That's when we're actually having like the market crash type days. I mean, they're not guaranteed. When it's I, just, I, you're, I you're, yeah, you're talking about the days where it's a sea of red out there on the heat map, but there's this lone penny stock that's being bid up on every tick. I know exactly what you're talking about. And at the so end of the day, day, everybody's crying that trades, you know, the spy and everything. And, and then you got these few penny traders that are just dancing. I had a great day today. It was awesome. <laughs> Best day ever. Wissa really struggling to get back above that VWAP. 13, I know you said you had concerns about this one earlier. I think you're with, I think I'm with you on that one. Yeah. None look great. We'll see what happens later on in the day. Cause as you also mentioned earlier, uh, we've seen a lot. Here we go on CXAI. This was the move we were waiting for. Yep. Back up to VWAP. Now we got to see if it could. Now for you, is this uh, through V? Well, for me, it's through VWAP and, and moving higher. How about you? Yeah, I wanted to take some right there and it pushed up. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take a little bit here and then resize this as well. We'll uh, add to this if it comes back in. CXAI, big power high. candle. Wish I would have caught this from earlier here at CXAI. Intraday high is a 543. And we're just kind of pushing our way through uh the pre-market consolidation. Uh probably as a, if it gets uh, past uh, 520, it could really start to move. Here we go. Now, now Five, it's past 520. <laughs> 525, a little bit of size there. We'll see if that gets taken. And where do we have the top here? 544. See if we end up getting there. You guys, I've traded a lot less pennies since Zach Morris has been gone. I don't know if there's a correlation there or not, but if he's back and these pennies start getting hot again, I mean, that's just going to be quite the coincidence. I, I think it'd be a really big coincidence if we started seeing these old meme stocks come back and, and he's and he's pumping uh, things that are similar. BSGM got as high as 244 and now it's being rejected all the way down to the VWAP. EDBL still suspended. CXAI slowing down on that impulse move right there. I don't know about you guys, but today has been an amazing day. Oh, it's today great. has been a good day. Yeah, it has been a good day. I'm happy I, you know, captured a bit of EDBL and lived to tell the tale. Yeah, I'm trimming. I'm trimming CXAI here. I'm going to wait for this to come. I think this is going to come back in and I can try it again. Would have liked a little bit more on that. Didn't get a full size here. I was, I'm late on these. These small names really kind of got me shook. I was looking at this under that VWAP. That pop would have been perfect for a trade there. Perfect. And I'd like to say that today's a good day, probably because you all are wearing the 65 EMA shirt. <laughs> yep. Paul, Alyssa. <laughs> all right. So if you want a good day, 
on uh, live trading. We got to coordinate our wardrobe. Oh, that's going to be something to do every day. So we'll have to do messing with Market Maker next. I don't. I don't know, and uh, Ryan. Uh, I, I don't know if I can match your wardrobe. You got some pretty snazzy shirts. What are those shirts? Says Brett Green. Anybody else want to answer this? No, no. This is your answer. No, I this guess. is for you to answer, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, these are the shirts we made, Mighty Soldiers Trades, because uh, I absolutely love the 65 EMA, as many other people do. And it's been my bread and butter, especially on the 15-second chart. Well, actually, every every time frame. But, yeah, we, we have uh, we have some funny shirts and, and these 65 shirts just, you know. Anyways, I don't know if I answered that right, very well. 65 EMA, it's the indicator that he absolutely loves. We made some shirts out of it. You've got a whole yeah. line of shirts. And uh, telling you the t-shirt idea is a good one. Speaking of 65 EMA, Wissa just blew right past the uh, 65 EMA on the five minute. This is what I, uh, this is one of the concerns I had about this one, that it wasn't going to react to some of these uh, uh, levels. I am like right at the VWAP, by the way. Also, Wissa is halted. Halted to the downside here. Yeah. And Wissa, this is the first halt of the day. Right yeah, Wissa. You say the shirts are a good idea, but you know, for me, I only like to give them away. I don't really like to try to sell stuff. So I end up giving away a lot of shirts. Okay. Well, that is good for me. Uh, <laughs> good Brett, for Brett, me. <laughs> Brett gave me a good idea. He, he said we need a come on volume shirt. How about, you know, they have those got milk uh, commercials. How about got volume? Got volume. You know, we need yeah. a, <laughs> and we need a, we need to somehow incorporate a volume chart into that idea, which I think we can get done. That's that totally doable. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna, <laughs> Alyssa's like, come on, guys. I can easily figure this out. She's laughing in the background, by the way. <laughs> Power for the course. That means the universe is in order if Alyssa is laughing. INVO still holding at its VWAP right here. CXAI flagging here, so we might actually try to go higher instead of pulling back to the VWAP. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I, I had to trust myself. I was looking at that one. I was like, I think this one pops through the VWAP. The CXCI looks like it might be ready to go at, at yep. any time between now and the next five minutes. There it goes right up to that high. Let's see if it breaks it or if it pulls here. Yeah, I'm not sure which pushing it down. I don't see any uh, significant, you know, size that's, uh, that's keeping the price down except that the sell orders are much larger in, in size than these buy orders are so they keep bringing in bids there just brought in a bid at 531 here's 543 yeah. is you're going to be your day high here Let's see if we get a pull here so far another beautiful rejection off that declining 65 here on the, the spy yeah spy continuing lower here all right, so we got this. Uh, uh, we got this make it or break it point at about five hundred four thirty four. Um, looking for the reclaim now. If we don't break down, I kind of think that there's a good chance that we don't. But uh, as I told you earlier, if we do, I'm still looking at that twenty on the weekly. I, I'm I'm leaning on uh, the five hundred three handle to uh, provide support. I think that's where we're going to get it. We might trade slightly beneath it, like we were doing yesterday. But if if five hundred three uh, falls, then so will the price. I don't know about you guys, but for me, I usually include an upper or lower shadow in my analysis. You know that that surprise because people are like, "Oh, it crossed that line. You 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 didn't you know you didn't call this right or whatever." And for me, I'm always looking for given that buffer instead of just this line where oh, if it breaks us or, or it doesn't, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, ADW mentioning an earthquake in Japan. I'm also seeing that here. Let's take a look. Preliminary magnitude of 6.4. So that's a good size earthquake. Don't really see anything being affected by that, but that's a good shout. That's something to watch here. Still waiting for a CXAI pull. Look at the PLCE pull. Look at this. Uh oh. Yeah. Broke, broke down BWEP. So I guess it's, uh, yep. it's going to be upon this uh, consolidation we've got in pre-market in order to uh, provide the next uh, demand zone support. That would probably be about uh, 930, I would I would assume. BSGM here, um, 
trying to reclaim its VWAP. <laughs> Wisdom saying, Ryan, I need a late night show fireside with Ryan, a conversation about conservative wine connoisseur. I mean, that show would be more fun if everyone was just oh. loaded up on wine, just I mean, absolutely I'll, blitzed on wine, and they're just having discussions. That would be fun. I have bottles of wine, dude. I'll join yeah, me if you want. So do I. But I think the rule is we have to finish it. Yes, open <laughs> bottles must be finished. Yes, that is a house rule. VNDA still pinned on this view app. This thing has done nothing here, nothing. And PLCE continues to pull 940 now on the downside. Yeah, just VNDA is consolidating. INVO, here we go. Okay, let me pull that up here. INVO, nice move. This is pushing. Mm -hmm. So the high end of this range here, I got some resistance between 288 and 293. EDBL open. It's going down somewhere. I've got the VWAP at 840 on EDBL. Yep. Spy's getting pinched to make a decision pretty soon. Ah, uh, okay, Robert. This is actually what I was waiting for. Appreciate this shout. No tsunami threat from the quake. The nice. meteorological oh, agency right. issued the earthquake warning. Okay, that's helpful. Sorry, Ryan, I cut you off, but I this this uh, comment here, DJ DJ AF, which wine, sativa or indica? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Cab, dude. Cab all day. I mean, Wisdom will probably be better to answer that than we will. CXAI coming back into the VWAP. Let's see if we can actually hold there. Remember the last time that we went through the VWAP, we actually yanked right through it. Wissa uh, is, being, is open as being mentioned in chat. It's trying to move back up to the 65 EMA on the five minutes. INVO pushing up to the uh, high of day. Whistle just looks weak. It's going to need more than the more than that. I feel like INVO to yeah. the top of that range. Two ninety two. Your intraday high here. INVO. That's it. Well, we are starting to see some acceleration to the downside in spy. Root pounding lows. Can't even believe I just said that. Fifty nine now. Speaking of indica and sativa, though, isn't the Benzinga Cannabis Conference going on right now? It is. It is. It is going on right now. Lots of deals being made down there in Miami, I believe. So uh, instead Bitcoin, of going to uh, sell off here, Bitcoin down to 61,000 on the futures chart, taking another leg down as we speak. So instead of going to Orlando today, we should have been heading to Hollywood. They did a 4.20 run today down there, <laughs> 420 run. Oh, mile run. Oh, I see. Okay, well, there you go. I thought she was talking about a price. Yeah, me too. No, no. Like, what is she talking about? What ticker? Mile. What? <laughs> <laughs> CCC. <laughs> oh god. See, now we're now we're confusing people though. Now we're actually straight up confusing people. Um. Yeah, you know, Bitcoin looks like it could go all the way down to fifty-two thousand. That would be a huge move down. And don't we have the having on Saturday? I think yeah, we, we do. Coming up. Yeah. yeah, we do. INVO, by the way, stopped at that, at that range that we identified there. See if it's going to be strong enough to actually go through that at some point. CXAI did the exactly, this is what we wanted. This is what we were waiting to see. It said earlier, when it tested the VWAP to the downside, it provided no support. Same deal here. CXAI right through that VWAP, right down to the consolidation area. Inter you know we what's interesting is that this is where I was wanted to buy it before and I didn't, and I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Let's see if we bounce from here. So EDBL is still open. It hasn't been halted again. Uh, it's currently trying to uh, find a direction. It seems as though it uh, got some support from, from VWAP, but uh, I, I'm not sure. Volume seems to be going away from this pretty quick. So. Uh, there could uh, be nice great. lower shadow here on the five minute for the SPY. Uh, for futures, uh, anyways, and we just reclaimed on that 65 on the 15 second. So let me bring up a spy chart. It's been a minute since we took a look at that. So maybe it did bounce off that 503.50. Just underneath it. Pally's trying to retake the VWAP here. 
Now I'm looking more to 504.13 uh, for support now. If it gets up to 504.60, could run into some resistance there. PLC yeah, 69 I have. Okay. INVO through that resistance area. Got some size here at three. Watch this move here at three and INVO. Mm, great stuff in INVO. If it pushes through uh, 307, the next upside target I have is uh, 365. BSGM approaching the 65 EMA on the five minute. Still watching INVO here at three. I think there's going to be a battle here. They tried yanking it off that spot, but they bought it right back up to it. We'll see here. Three dollars even. I'm pulling back. Not yet. Spy price got rejected really close to Andy's uh, target. So we got one out of five people here trade the spy or futures. I like to do oh. the ETFs that mirror that. Like so, uh, so you know, SPXS, SPXL, or SQQQ and TQQQ. That's how I generally like to capture the market. Those levered ETFs, mostly because of the liquidity, frankly. INVO, we're coming up on three here again. Yeah, got to get through that uh, thirty-one thousand uh, share wall. See, this is where I would like to put on a trade, and I'm just thinking that I've had too good of a day to to risk it at this point. Oh, wow, there it goes. INVO right through it here. Let's see if we can yeah. build above it, or does it yank back down to the view no, up here? It came right back in. Now here we go, going now higher. Yeah, yeah. INVO, big move here. 365, next upside target. BNDA still sideways. EDBL down near BWEP. Yeah, this is the first time all morning that the spy has broke north of the declining 65 on the 15 second. Spy trying to make its move back to VWAP here, about 50 cents away, 60, 70 cents away. around here a lot of reversals yeah all right cxai trying to bounce here let's see if we can get back to that vwap and maybe even through it m season we'll take that thank you guys first time on here got an invo at 260 just make sure you pay yourself Ooh. good stuff register ring for you sir yeah Looks there's like ever a time that I'm completely unsure about my spy trades, I like to run through my watch list real quick. My main, like, what does it tell you? It just gives you a better view of, of what could be happening rather than just, you know, getting zoomed in on the spy. The kind of breaking you away from that tunnel vision feeling almost. Yeah. Right. Gotcha, and and, gotcha. and you, if you got like a, a more severe uh, rejection that you can see, it might it might take you away from that long move that you were about to do would have uh you know slapped you in the face so use whatever information you can to give yourself a better shot that's my uh my vote every, you, know, every we, you, know, you know what we haven't looked at today? reddit reddit <laughs> is still holding on to that 40 dollar level impressive that it's trying to hold on to this edbl uh it uh, got support from vwap it could be turning around it's not trying sure. yeah not 100 sure that it is though PLCE looks like that's trying to bounce here. Same thing with BSGM. Got uh, support from the 65 EMA on the five minute. Let's see if it uh, can continue up. Yeah, Sally. Sally saying the INVO tape makes the CX AI tape look like it's halted. Volume matters indeed. And actually, <laughs> just if you just look at the CX AI chart, I mean, look at where the two moves came. The moves came when the volume became outsized. And and in INVO, the, to contrast it there, I mean, well, the same thing is happening. Frankly, there was only one little period where the volume kind of dried up. 
And during that time, INVO was kind of consolidating around its VWAP. But you're right. You're the larger point here. You're right. The volume that tells the story, it really needs it. INVO's got it. CXAI doesn't have it at the moment. VNDA really doesn't have it at the moment. Oh, man. VNDA, this thing has done absolutely nothing. It's just pinned there. Any day I don't look at Reddit is a good day. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry for oh, your bad day. That is a funny comment. Uh, PLCE may be rolling over here. PLCE. Watch if this loses this low right here. I've got that at 937, I think that is. If it loses that low. I think that's got to go much lower. M season, you rock, dude. You I get a one up here today. Remember, you're the one at the end of the day taking the risk. We're talking about what we're seeing and what's moving yeah. around here. But at the end of the day, the trader takes the risk. The trader executes the trade. You're going to pat us on the back. I must ask that you pat yourself on the back as well. INVO pushing up towards 350 where there's a 32,000 share wall. Uh, 365 is the next upside target. And if we uh, break through 350, we might get more than 365. Yeah, so basically, wisdom. I was uh, I was just messing around, checking price, and I I was putting different EMAs on my chart to see which one correlated the best for my style of trading. And I found that the 65 worked the best for me. And uh, especially on the 15 second charts, if you're looking for a bearish day, you're, usually we're locked out of that 65 all day. And if you're looking for a bullish day, usually we're riding and and holding strong on that 65. If you guys ever get a chance, uh, well, 15 second chart with 65, uh, 200 EMA and the 365 together. I don't think you'll regret it. Uh, I love the 65 EMA. It's been great for me too. Across multiple time frames as well. Looks like a EDBL is uh, starting to uh, come back up. INVO looks like it's going to try to keep going. So we got EDBL and INVO. Another great thing with the 65 is like on the daily, the 65 or the 200 on a penny pump or whatever they are, you know, uh, you can you can see a clear rejection before it, before it's even getting there. You know, it's it's a potential area of rejection rather. Um, Whistle lower. Yeah, uh, STFU uh, INVO resistance. I I'm, I have mine at uh, 365. If you have yours at 366, I don't really think there's a, a big difference there, and we're probably seeing the same thing. Talking about the VWAP. Uh, no, the next uh, upside target for INVO uh, based on uh, pre previous uh, uh, price action. EDBL, what a great bounce off for you, Web. Let's see if it can continue. <clears throat> Traded this one twice already. Been great both times. I mean, uh, moving averages are a derivative of price, but, you know, uh, something to give me an idea of the trend. It really helps a lot. Sort of the mentality I have when it comes to uh, moving averages, whether it be EMA and SMA, whenever we start trading down and going beneath one, I have think in my mind, okay, everybody's agreeing that it's that, that this is worth less than the average, especially when it comes to like these longer term timeframes and these larger uh, companies. The thought, the process in my head is like, okay, we all agree that this should be going lower. The price is beneath the, the this particular moving average. I look at it in terms of what we agree and disagree on when we start to uh, trade around those moving averages. Absolutely. Uh, VNDA finally made it above its VWAP here. Might the pin be over? Wisdom yeah, wants just to like every game. Every game requires supporting information. Yeah. VNDA might actually start to uh, do something here. TBLT, so, I've got so. some TBLT. Tough built? Yeah, I got uh, Gerald says TBLT going well into the green today. This is a rough looking daily chart. Came down to its 200 at least. This thing's garbage, but yeah. It's got to run one day, right? <laughs> one day. See if we get this pop here on CXAI. Uh, EDPL is going to go higher. I mean, it's 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 shaping up to be that way. Like uh, twelve uh, forty seven is the intraday high right now. Uh, volume keeps uh, keeps this up. We could be we could be going higher than that. I have my reservations, but I was wrong about the halts. So could be wrong about this breaking too. 
Yeah, poor Alyssa at, at one point got reverse split straight out of TBLT. Yeah, that's oh. the worst. Reverse splits don't work. Jay warns us every day almost about those. CXAI, we finally trying to go here. Let's see if we can get back to that VWAP. Got it at and five. That's the thing about now. New penny traders, they think, you know, I'll just hold this bag forever and eventually it's got to go up. But when you reverse split 18 times in a row, that doesn't work out too well. Yeah, pretty soon you have five shares and you have somehow $10,000 loss. <laughs> EDBL now over 11 and suspend and halted again. Oh my God. 11.10. This is going to halt that here. Eighth trading halt of the day, 13. Eighth. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, this, this thing is just, it's, it's fun, scary, and well at the same time. This is probably why I have a pulse. <laughs> Gives me excitement. <laughs> Easy go is trying. Let's there, see, there's Jay. The, so wisdom has a pot leaf that we shine in the sky and that's his signal jay it's the reverse split we start talking about reverse splits and jay is going to come back here jay mullen three year high is 2640 it's three bucks reverse splits at its finest we need to get him like a one for infinity rs shirt Just give me an one, idea one for infinity reverse split oh <laughs> oh man Thinking about making some reverse split competition videos. <laughs> tell me, tell me more. I want to know how that goes down. Because is it just because there's so many reverse splits happening lately that we need to have a competition? I think so. But like you know, <laughs> MULN, that's a good one. But I do believe TBLT's got it beat. So uh, we we're gonna have to do a head to head. That sounds like fun. UVXY yeah. ten year chart is even worse. That's true. I've I've traded too much UVXY. Uh, GL here, continuing to move to the highs. Uh, INVO is, uh, it looks like it's trying to make a decision on whether or not it's going to go higher or not. Keep an eye on it. Oh, easy go. Just had a big pull after reaching 222. And SPY is very precariously in this lower shadow now here on the five minutes. Yep. INVO may be going back up. Really looking like it wants to push. Not sure about BSGM. First, I want to see it. Sorry about that. Sorry. No, go ahead. I'll just. Uh, yesterday, I heard that you guys have a big uh, a gold, a lot of a lot of gold traders here. Oh yeah, we had some gold traders earlier this week. Yeah. I don't know if we have a lot, but. Oh wow, easy go. Just had a huge pop. The 246. Surprised we didn't get a halt on that. Robert and a is, pullback. Yeah, Robert's mentioning MNDR. Yeah, that one's just been mostly straight up all day. And now that's it's, yeah, uh, that's up over out. 19 now. Watch for that to break above 20. So the 15 second chart, that is some hopium there, Sally. Haha. -ha. So, anyways, guys, the, the 15 second chart is there to uh to see the trend very clearly every single day. And it is the most reliable thing that I've ever seen in my trading. The most reliable. Okay. How about that? So you're using a, a short uh time frame chart to look at a long term trend? It's uh, more to give me the idea of what we're doing today and uh, who's okay. getting locked out of where. Um, you know, it's a lot of people that, you know, buy these things these days and they average down. And you, when, when you can gauge where they're being locked out, it can help us to make, you know, quite a bit of profit. Gotcha. All right. INVO 350. Well, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I, I would say a big it, pull on big INVO pull. right there. I'll tell you guys myself though, I I don't think anybody should be trading, zooming in on a lower time frame and making the decisions based off the lower time frame alone. Uh, I'm okay. looking at the weekly and and the four hour. That's where I'm getting you know the bulk of my idea, and then I can see how we're trading today and what's going on based on that 15 second. 
Oh yeah, PLCE. I think. Uh, well, it's headed down big, to the sixty-five E man. Big flush there, PLCE. Yeah. Iron VO kind of just going sideways at the was, moment. Was that a STFU saying that was a three forty-five rejection there in INVO? I've got it at three fifty-one. Frankly, it's three fifty. Excuse me. Did not print above three fifty. Yeah, there was a bunch of sell orders up there. Good job, Ann. Register wing for you. Let's get it. I mean, the All time right. frame argument is a lot like the argument with moving averages. Uh, you know, um, moving averages, we don't make trades off of them, but they help us to see the overall trend. And when we're driving, we don't just look far or we don't just look close. We we look at everything, the big picture, you know? EJ, oh, yeah. possible breakout spot here. Sorry to interrupt you guys. No problem. Oh, ADBL is open. Had a slightly higher print. Now we're going uh, a bit sideways, trying to decide if it's going to go higher or break down. EDBL, I think the VWAP pull here is probably next. Uh, I'm on the three again. minute. I've got a three minute STFU. This is a uh, chart chart setup I'm borrowing from Smoke Tuna. This is a three-minute chart. We got a comment. How can we follow Andy's trades? You guys, I am going to start uh, live streaming again and letting you know exactly what I'm seeing every day. Cool. Cool. It's going to mean a lot less Disney, though, so I'll have some withdrawals for a bit. Who's your favorite Disney character? I don't have one. I think my favorite Disney. How about ride. that, 13? <laughs> Answered my question. <laughs> you were looking for a follow up there. My favorite Disney ride is Tron. Uh, Sarah's is Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy. Hmm. Do they have Tron out in Florida? Of those when I was there. They still have Tron out in Florida? Yeah. They don't have that out in California anymore. They replaced it with Robert else. Smith says IZM may be bouncing. I, I don't know. <laughs> Careful with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Down from 100 this morning. If that was a joke, that was a really good one. Yeah. I mean, he did put a, he did put ha ha at the end of it. So perhaps. Okay. That was a good joke. Perhaps. <laughs> VNDA still, still slowly moving up. Still I think we got to cool. we got to be careful as traders. We get caught in these arguments of, you know, moving averages don't work and stuff like that. And, and it's all just part of the picture. It's it's not whether it works or not. If we're, if we're looking at these things as if they work and, and we're trying to just make trades off of that one little thing, you know, I think that we're, we're failing from the start. Uh, easy way to stay out of that is just not, don't argue with people. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, like, that's, uh, that's know, the easiest way to avoid that. No, but I mean, like Rob Smith, for example, love Rob Smith, uh, great, great guy. But he was he he had this a lot of times he was talking about moving averages you know he hated them it seemed you know or mm -hmm. uh, yeah but, but everyone's a little bit different right there that's the thing about this is that you know you can you got you can be two traders can be looking at the same stock have the same thought and trade them entirely different that's just how it goes the way I've always said it is all information is good information but you know yeah that's a good that's a good motto. I like to keep the information limited. I've found that uh, sometimes I run into problems where I have too much information and it skews my uh, decision-making ability. I think well, that's why we choose which parts work for us the best. Right, right, exactly. That's a great point. With all the tools that we have at our disposal, use the ones that work the best for you. Look at the ramp yeah. on MISO today, folks. And the most often as well. Did it halt, Ryan? Not yet. I know what you were waiting for there. Not mm. yet. Voodoo, I like this comment here regarding what we were just talking about. They're indicators, not guarantees. And I yes. think that sometimes it's easy to forget that. Right, exactly. And yeah, guys, I love the strat and love Rob Smith. So yeah, me too. Uh, and I, I think that it's important to learn how to trade without indicators as well. Yeah, actually, Rob, analysis Rob's paralysis. vision for what was going on was unmatched, in my opinion. Just unmatched genius 
And I use different indicators for different time frames. Like I'll use lagging indicators for longer time frames and uh, EMAs for shorter time frames. That's that's worked well for me. Because I like to trade on EMAs and I like to long term invest on SMAs. Easy go, maybe bouncing off of the VWAP here. Uh, a win. This was a nice move here today on A win. We're getting a, a mention of from uh, about rig from white chocolate mocha. Rig doing rigs kind of just sitting in here. I don't really see much going on here in rig. That yeah, might have just been a mistake. I like this one. I find if I blow hard under the candle, sometimes I can make it move up. What is it a birthday party? Yeah, don't blow too hard or they might go out. Alaska Air grounded. Is that what you're it I don't know. I'll I'll see if I can find out what's going on with that for you. Um SPF yeah, 1042 here. US FAA advisory says all Alaska mainline and subcarrier flights ground stopped. Wow. And the stock is up. That's what I'm seeing in the news here. Is, let me check Twitter real quick. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, um, let's see how that trades. I mean, maybe it, uh, that move is already in, and this is just the bounce. Because I see that uh, we did get some price action earlier. How long did this come out? Five minutes ago? Yeah, Jay, absolutely. Because, you know, they, they just reverse split. Their their float is so much smaller. So they just get pumped or pushed around. Yep. And then once that move is done and they've made their profits, they move on to the next one. Absolutely. Well, INVO is... Uh, down close to view up again. VNDA didn't uh, have anything materialize. CXAI lower. Lower. Probably going to get stopped out of this one. EDBL looks like the uh, volume is kind of uh, waning. Children's Place down to the 65 EMA. If it doesn't bounce here, it's going to go lower. Everything we were trading is much lower now, guys. Yep, INVO yanking back to that VWAP. Yep. I don't really see anything great on the scanner either. Everything no, it's seems it's going to gonna, lower. It's probably going to be one of those things where, yeah, all the morning moves are over. People are going to start, yep. you know, thinking about going out to lunch and you know, have taken that break. When they come back, we'll see some better trading again. Did hey, I miss when, the hall they, yeah, yeah. This well, this is the this is one of the stocks that's really kind of been moving here today on AWIN. What's going on? Stay focused. Great to see you this morning, my man. Welcome back. What's the story with uh, with this here? They uh, they're selling something. They're selling more. They're raising cash. What's what's the story here with uh, a, a win? A win. I don't have any news on a win from today. Looks like they're going to do a one for 100 uh, reverse split unless that already happened. Uh, based on the float, I'd say they did. Uh, <laughs> 575,000 uh, shares uh, in the float. So I guess they did the reverse split already. <clears throat> Well, uh, stay focused. We were trading. Uh, let's see. Today I traded uh, EDBL, and um, what was the other one I traded? Uh, I traded Children's Place. Uh, it's PLCE and CXAI. It's those three I traded today. 
How about you, man? And guys, before we leave today, I just want to say thank you so much for wearing my shirts. That's awesome. And thanks for we joining did it us. Just for you. Yeah, we did it just for you. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, you know, I was just asking that. Uh, uh, stay focused. ALK stronger than the market with bad news. I'm not sure why that uh, that news isn't getting uh, uh, more of a sell off. I'm, I'm curious about that too. I mean, you'd think that their money making machines are being gra being grounded is not great for the company. Yet here it is up two percent. Although now it's starting to look like it's it's getting hit. I don't know what's going on. We have a four cent stock S I N T up 100 percent, 132 million traded, and the spy four cent stock. So yeah, basically, it, it went from two to four. Yeah, four cent stock. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the spy is going to go test that support now on that both uh, bear flag. Oh, give it to us. Amen, rolling over go. here. Or excuse SMCI starting at A1. A1's uh, well, higher into a halt. It's yeah, <laughs> there. It is again. Not rolling over. Oh, sorry, guys. You know the the other halt fester. Uh, is, Edible. Is still putting in a, a pretty decent uh, uh, formation here. I mean, if we can continue to hold the uh, above VWAP, which we're about to uh, test again, uh, there could be some more upside later on. Oh wow! Look at this move in spy. Right. Yeah. Big I'm, I'm pull to here to five oh two. Let's bring up the spy. All right. Vix popping on that as well. What was the news in ALK yesterday? That wasn't the, I thought the grounding was today. Am I wrong about that? The grounding was today. That was from 1042 AM here today. Oh yes. The news yesterday was the, uh, the, the justice department suing to stop the merger with air with Hawaiian airlines. That's right. That's right. I forgot about that. Spy 502 here. Round. A lot of other stuff pulling. Apple pulling with it. Bitcoin's also rolling over. Tesla rolling over to the lows. Good morning, Lion Atlas. Uh, you did miss some stuff, hey. but I don't think, that, I don't think we're done. Uh, we just have seven minutes, so uh, you did miss a good portion of it, unfortunately. But we're, we're going to have you with us. Yeah, Spy's really yanking right here. So Let's fill that gap, boys and girls. Stay focused, saying short ALK. Actually, not a bad idea. It would make sense to me, especially if it's going to move this slow. And that, that, that should have sold off much sooner, in my opinion. Grounding all their mainstream and, and, and grounding air, that many aircraft in general. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Not so this good. is we're down. We're down to the low from yesterday on the spy. I have the low at uh, 502.21 from yesterday. Okay, so, we're right there. Yeah. Trying to bounce here, it looks like. Yeah, Lion Atlas, I think you're right. Let's see if Spy continues to pull here. Still didn't see... Um, let's see, let me see. Hang on a sec. Let me look around here. Uh, Easy Go is trying to push. Uh, MESO is uh, holding above the 200 EMA. Could see that uh, try to uh, move up and take out 516 in you know probably the next 10 20 minutes or so, maybe maybe sooner. So, anyways, guys, sorry about yelling at you earlier. You're going, hey, Alyssa, take me down. You know, sorry about that. So. <laughs> God, was hey. Like, that was away. so long ago. I forgot about it. Yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> then just had to get that out before we close uh, that's great it starts with the earthquake birds and snakes and airplanes and lenny bruce is not afraid it's been a fun day hasn't it stfu so so izm Bye. we were taking a look at earlier remember izm Mm -hmm. IZM yeah. announces cancellation of its proposed offering. Okay, so it's going to move cancellation back up due to current market pricing not conducive for offering. That would be in the best interest of the company. 
I'm sorry for laughing. Jeez. Um, anyway, <laughs> Spy is, uh, came back up and tested 503. Uh, that is now being tested as resistance. Eighteen people were uh, okay. So Jonathan Cooper giving us some news uh, coming out of Lebanon. Yeah, I have some of that too, Lyons. I think that's going to be good. <clears throat> you guys, if there's uh, one person in the chat that uh, wears extra large that would like an MST shirt, like the sixty-five shirt here, uh, let us know, and Ryan can call your name and figure out how to get it to you. Giving me work to do here, Andy? Come on now. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see uh, IZM go up to VWAP and get rejected. I'm not even going to try that. Oh, uh, AWIN is open. Popped a little bit higher. That is moving higher here. Yeah. Well, it's 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 kind of whipping around and, and going back and forth. All right, Gene... Gene, born to be free, and MM, MM yeah, yeah, anyway, SMS, uh, email us at Mighty Soldiers Trades, Andy at Mighty Soldiers Trades.com. Um, Travis Jones, if, I, I'll just say I don't know. Um, I think it might, uh, if we can't get back over, over 503. I think a, a breakdown of uh, 502 is is uh, more likely than not, um, but we'll just uh, I I really can't give you a definitive answer if we'll break down or not. It seems like it would to me, but that's if we don't get that uh, retake of 503. The the um, piece of news looks like that coincided with the leg down here was Biden's proposed higher tariffs would apply to more than one billion dollars on steel and aluminum products from China. I'm old enough to remember to I'm old enough to remember when that was, you know, what xenophobic. Anyway. That's the only news I have for the recent spy poll. And we're actually trying to bounce from this, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. And sorry to anybody who's uh, not extra large. I just mentioned that because those are the ones we have on hand right now. And I don't want you to wait like 13 had to. <laughs> But I still got it. PLCE going lower here. Stopped out of CXAI. Um, reported earlier, U.S. signals Venezuela oil sanctions relief at risk as deadline looms. I think that's a, another. There's that. There's the airlines. And then there's the tariffs. So a lot of... Uh, a lot of unfavorable news at the same time. But that Alaska Airlines one, that's that's kind of blowing my mind right now. And they report tomorrow morning. That should be a report filled with fireworks. Oh, yeah. And Gerald mentioning TBLT again. 27% right now, 193,000 traded. Quickest way to get my attention, say tough build. All right, folks, we are out of time here for today. Really appreciate both of you guys coming back. You guys got any closing remarks for the chat here? Thanks, guys. Love you. I'm going to throw on, I, I like that, Andy. I'm going to throw on, hit that like and subscribe and help us out. Smash up that like for 13 and Andy. Andy, shirts are awesome. Much appreciated, my man. 13, you got any final words for the group? Stay safe, folks. It's going to be wild. Well said, folks. All right. You guys <laughs> take care. We will be back at this again tomorrow. Stay green. Stay safe. We'll see ya.